Segments raise parallel lines and planes. Our learning objectives are to understand basic terms of geometry, recognize intersecting parallel and skew lines, and recognize intersecting and parallel planes. So let's start with some vocabulary. Endpoints, a point at the end of a line. So here I have point E, and is the endpoint of this line. Segment, a part of a line consisting of two endpoints and all points in between the endpoints. So here I have point X and Y, and the segment consists of all points in between. Segment is written with two endpoints, with a line on top, with no arrows. This is segment XY. Remember, you can pause or back up the video anytime you need to. Let's move on. Ray, part of a line consisting of one endpoint and all points of the line extending infinitely on the opposite side of the endpoint. Here we have ray BA. The first letter always represents the endpoint. Don't forget the arrow. Opposite rays. Two collinear rays that share the same endpoint. Two opposite rays always form a line. So here we have ray NM and ray NO are opposite rays and form a line. Example 1. Given this figure, answer the following. Name two segments. State two other ways to name ray AC. Name two pairs of opposite rays. Pause the video. Give it a shot. Okay, so how did you do? Two segments. Segment AC, segment CF, segment EA, segment FA. For the next part, two other ways to name ray AC. We could say ray AE or ray AF. Just make sure your endpoint is A there. And two pairs of opposite rays. We could say ray CA and ray CE or ray EA and ray EF. Both have to start with the same endpoint and go in opposite directions. Okay. Parallel lines. Coplanar lines that do not intersect. y equals 1 half x plus 2, y equals 1 half x minus 1. I'll graph these lines here, one in blue and one in green. Lines shown in y equals mx plus b form. Therefore, they're really easy to graph. These two lines are graphed on the coordinate plane. Therefore, they are coplanar. They have the same slope, m equals 1 half, and they have different y-intercepts. Therefore, line L will be parallel to line M. These lines will not intersect. OK. Let's take a look at the next thing now. Skew lines. Non-coplanar lines. Therefore, they do not intersect and are not parallel. Line MP is parallel to line QR. And I can show these arrows uh, which indicate parallel lines in the drawing. However, line MP and line RS are skew. They do not intersect and are not parallel. OK, I hope that makes sense for everybody. Parallel planes, planes that do not intersect. Simple enough. Example two, use the diagram to name the following. All segments parallel to segment PO. Three segments skew to segment NT. Name two pairs of parallel planes. Remember, you need three non-collinear points to name a plane. Pause. Okay, so we have segment MN, segment QT, and segment RS that are parallel to segment PO. 
And in part B, we have three segments skewed at segment NT. We have segment S, R, P, O, and Q, R. And in part C, two pairs of parallel planes. We have plane M, N, O is parallel to Q, T, S. And plane N, Q, T is parallel to P, O, S. Example three, determine whether the pairs of lines intersect or are parallel. So here I'm going to give you three different examples to try. Pause. So for part A and B, what we really want to do is put this in slope-intercept form. Because we know if the slopes are equal, that means that we have parallel lines, as long as the y-intercepts are different. Because if the y-intercepts are the same, it could be the same line. So for part A, the lines are parallel. For part B, when we solve and put into y equals mx plus b form, we see that the slopes are almost the same. One is 1 fourth and one is negative 1 fourth. Well, that's not good enough. These slopes are different and these lines will intersect. So they are not parallel. For part C, we have x equals 3 and x equals 5. These lines are both vertical lines. Therefore, they are parallel. We don't have to put this into y equals mx plus b form. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video.